Hey, what's going on everyone? No Zoop for you here, and the strangest thing just occurred to me. It's almost the end of May, and we still don't have our April Fool's game mode. Odd, I know. I mean, we're, we're almost two months past April 1st. And I'm still, I'm, I'm just vexed. I'm befuddled why we have not had anything. No torp beats, no nothing. I mean, I, I thought at this point it was a yearly occurrence, but I guess I was wrong. I, I guess we don't get it this year. Well, obviously we don't get it this year because two months have gone by since we were supposed to get anything. What have we got? I mean, we've got a fair amount in the way of premium ship releases and tech tree splits and everything else, but no special game mode. And that brings me to something else. PvE battles, and I, I've had a lot of players, actually, after my video regarding clan battles, a lot of players have messaged me saying that they're upset right now because they don't necessarily like the stress of playing PvP battles, playing random battles, so a lot of them play PvE. And while PvE might be okay right now, they're not happy with the operations scene. And yes, we're getting one old operation back here in the near future, but there's still a lot of missing operations. Hey, what was that one? Operation Cherry Blossom? The nighttime one? I, I mean, there were tons of them. And believe it or not, players actually did enjoy playing those. I mean, even I enjoyed playing them while I was streaming. For a community contributor or a content producer, they're a lot of fun because you can pull in, you know, eight, nine, ten other people that otherwise might not be able to play with you and knock out an operation and just have silly fun. I mean, who remembers trying to go through the minefield in Dunkirk? That, that was fun. That was exciting. So, I guess the point I'm trying to hit at right now is that while we're getting a lot of ships and we're getting a lot of tech tree splits, we're not getting a lot of other content. I mean, we were already gypped on April Fool's. And yes, I will say we were gypped on it. Because most of us, I would say all of us, went in expecting to get some kind of cool or fun game mode. Whether it be bathtub wars, or torp beats, or space battles, or something. And we got nothing. Nothing at all. And then operations have been conspicuously absent for the longest time. It's an afterthought. And this just kind of shows where Wargaming's motivation is at right now with World of Warships. It is using the free-to-play model to its fullest. I'll tell you why we haven't had any of those, because those don't bring in money. It's a fact. There's no money to be had in a fun play mode for April Fools. Yeah, it might bring some players in out of interest. It might not keep them, though. And there's really no money in operations, in PvE battles. All your money is going to be releasing new ship lines. It's going to be releasing tier splits. It's going to be releasing premiums. And that's kind of the crux of the free-to-play model. Sorry, guys, after five years, you know, you're used to an April Fool's Day event or something like that. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you about operations either. You know, the possibilities are limitless. There's so much Wargaming can do, and I hit on this yesterday. There's so much wasted potential with this game. There's so many game modes they could do. There's so many cool events they could do. There's so much fun stuff they could do to keep players in the game. But five years on, it doesn't seem like that is what they want to do at this point. It seems like at this point in the game's life cycle, it's just all about pumping out ships, pumping out more ships, pumping out premiums, finding ways to get players that have been playing for a long time to spend more money, and trying to get new players to spend money. You know, I, I get it. I'm a capitalist. I'm cool with that. I get that. You got to do that. And they take that money and they put it into the development of more premium ships. But that money's not going towards these game modes. That has become clearly evident over the past year and the past two months. Because once again, most of us were expecting something, got absolutely nothing. 
And as for operations, I'm sorry guys, but uh, you know, if you enjoy them, what, what can I say? You know, we, we, we could have really cool stuff with submarines, hunting convoys, protecting convoys, destroyers protecting convoys, things like that. And it, it just doesn't seem that it's in the cards. So five years into it, I, I think the gameplay and the style of gameplay we have right now is here to stay for good. And in the way of anything new as far as game modes, I don't know. Maybe Wargaming will surprise me. Maybe they'll pull something out of their hats. I mean, we've got submarines coming up. That, that could be a game changer for the worse or for the better. Who knows what we'll find out. But, you know, it's, you know, it's funny. After yesterday's video, and, and I want to reiterate, it's not just CVs that are causing the problem. It's, it's the dearth of Stalingrads and other overpowered ships that just negate the use of any other tech tree ship in the game. We're we're in a weird place right now, World of Warships. That's all I'm going to say. Anyhow, uh, do you miss the April Fool's event and those type of events? Let me know in the comments of this video. And do you miss operations? I want to know that too. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're doing wonderful. Zoop out.